Scott, hurry! The entire force is about to explode. We need to clear the area. Strap around your leg. I'm getting you out of here. I'm getting you. to yet another terrorist attack, perpetrated by the infamous cell known as Philanthropy. The attack... Gorno Blastu. So 60 km Fostush, Navo Corridor of Pritschki. Thank you guys. Keep us posted through the intercom. Destruction, ...known as Metal Gears, whose existence was only recently made public as a result of the group's activities. Wow, oh, it's World almost World World time for our TV message. Attacks. What message? The public seem to approve Not a kind's idea. It should be broadcasted uh, now. Today, the terrorist group delivered the following message. We live in an age in which the world has endured the threat of annihilation at the hands of nuclear weapons. Governments relied on the theory of mutually assured destruction to deter an all-out nuclear war. But this strategy will inevitably fail. Under no circumstances will we ever stand by while a nation builds metal gears or similar weapons. We shall fight them always until our annihilation or theirs. What we achieved in England turned out to be a critical blow. According uh, to our informants, all of the major defense companies have ceased their activities, and the scandal caused by the information we've made public has pushed several governments to start over and redirect their ambitions. As a matter of fact, up until about a month ago, I thought that we were through. But, uh, one last big problem has emerged. And it's the very reason why we had to meet in such a hurry at that Russian airport. We're about to launch you into the Daskasan region, between the borders of Armenia and Azerbaijan. Your mission is to find and secure Senator Abraham Bishop. 
case you're wondering, the answer is yes. He is my father. I believe I might have told you about his role in my decision to enter politics. I'll find him. Be sure of that. Make no mistake, Snake. I feel nothing for my father. There is nothing personal in this objective I'm assigning to you. Nothing inside of me, with the exception of my DNA, still links me to that person. Hmm. This sounds familiar. Abraham Bishop is the only politician to have a strong relationship with the rest of Armstack. He's been here in Azerbaijan for many years now, but his role is still unclear. The most popular theory sees him as an advanced contact in the smuggling of war materials to America-friendly countries like Georgia. He must be brought back to the States to stand trial for the bribes he took. A charge philanthropy is now capable of proving. Once he's nailed, the only company left on Earth producing Metal Gears will have no one to hide behind. It doesn't sound so dangerous. It shouldn't sound so easy either. The Daskasan region has been through some strange phenomena as of late. Just what kind of phenomena? The entire zone located between the borders of Armenia and Azerbaijan has always been hot. Tank the Karabakh zone in the south has been at the center of a ten-year conflict. But really strange things started to happen just this August. The inhabitants of the region who previously hid in their houses in fear of the guerrillas all turned to the streets in a surge of joy. Strange news spread through the population rapidly. Celebration fires were lit just paces away from the corpses of those who were massacred only a few days before. The combatants of the two opposite factions ceased all hostilities instantly, and went on to build a formidable defensive perimeter in a perfect circle of 30 kilometers around a plateau located right in the middle of Daskasan. The Washington Post named them the Overnight Nation. After a few days of apparent calm, in the name of Jubal, these people pushed on. What's that typhoon in the middle of the map? You'll see soon enough. Siem cesjat kilometrów korytora. Uzawińsku da skazat. That is quite an unprecedented atmospheric event, as well as being the reason behind the reconnaissance satellites becoming completely useless. We've had no data, news, or images from the operation area for more than two weeks now. Due to this, we'll have to drop you quite far from the mission area. This is to be an absolutely secret infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. No backup. I know the routine well. Only not this time. You'll be armed. This is a regular war zone. Leaving traces behind will not raise an issue. And Snake, this time, you'll not be alone. What? You'll be establishing contact on the ground with two new members of philanthropy. The first is Pierre Leclerc, sniper. Former member of the Foreign Legion. Mercenary at present. Hmm, not bad for moving through open areas. Who's the second? Corporal Elizabeth Lakin, former Delta. Another mercenary? No, she's been delisted due to disciplinary reasons. You have all their folders in your backpack. There you'll find all the details you need. Alright, Snake. It's time. This mission will last longer than any other you've faced so far. You'll have to expect almost ten days of extreme conditions against forces we can't predict. If you succeed, philanthropy will cease to exist. We will have won our battle, and those dreadful weapons will only be a thing of the past.